Hello everyone, it's Pastor Turner here. I'm the DM here for the episode 3 of The Mysteries of Neverwinter. I'm with my adventurers and we are ready to continue. So, are we resting? I do propose we rest for a few hours. You guys look a bit withered. Yeah. We're watch guard. So do you guys want to rest? Yes. By the, by the spinny door, but not on it. It's not in room what, with a water pool. What, 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 why don't we do it in the other room in the beds? Because they're all fucking yeah, coming out. Yeah, it's fire. <laughs> the room is a mess and it stinks of flesh. Okay, fine. So I'm in a nice tranquil poison. room with the pool and the chairs and the table. Mm. All right, fine. We're going there. What are you doing with the spinny door? Spinny I'm just going to stand and watch it. And I'm just going to watch it. Are you going to keep it closed or are you going to keep oh, it? Oh, yeah, we're going to put it back to as it was. Right, you put it back that back to as you was. Um, you assume your positions. How long are you resting for? These guys are resting for four, four hours. hours. So. Four hours. So anything happened in the first hour? Roll <laughs> of dice. What? Just what? one. <coughs> four. Actually, no. Nah. Higher or lower? Uh, lower. Yeah, keep it lower. Okay. All right. So, you guys are on watch. Yeah. And you guys are. Um, in rest. As you're resting in the hour, you suddenly hear a <laughs> kind of sound. It wakes you up. I'll make Do a nature check and see what it is. Go for it. Um, we don't get our hit die. Two. You have no clue what that sound is, and it echoes through all your brains. You wake up, you lose that hour's rest. What is that? Uh, we don't get to rest for the first hour. Alright, do you want to try and rest again? Yeah, go on. Higher or lower? Keep it lower. 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 The sure of screen comes again. Right, this time I'm Jenny. And it's just, it, you can hear it coming through the door and it's echoing around. What is it? <laughs> it's it's before. Perception test? It wakes you up and you're all, you know. Perception? Um, no, not perception. Which one I roll? Um, nature check is <coughs> right, I don't check. recognize it. Seven. You have no clue what it is. <sighs> You can hear What's it coming from behind that door, but an echo behind that door. Uh. Sounds like it's quite far away, but still making that noise. I don't know what it is. You can almost hear as well this kind of like. So do we not get to hear at all? Step. Huh? Do we don't get to hear at all. Um, roll um one hit die, and um, roll one hit die for both of those hours, and you gain half that. So, wow. so, we, so, we, so we roll two hit dice and gain half. We have been mm. working in the middle of the two night. Two hit dice. Two hit die, one hit die and half. Well, um, just do one hit die. One hit die. Well. Six. Six. Seven. 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 Plug my ears with some fabric off all of the dead bodies. Um, yeah, go for it. What's it going to say? Yeah. <laughs> it's not what not. He's now be oblivious to the noise now as well. Yeah, yeah but, but now you, you guys go, watch, wake yeah. up, <coughs> wake up. Yeah. Oh, no, I'll slap you. Yeah, you can kick mm -hmm. us or something. Alright, um, you take another hour. Mm -hmm. Alright. Higher or lower? Uh, Higher. No noise. Sleep well for that hour. Go up the top hit dies. Take a hit Scared the beast off. One! Oh my god. Are you guys going to sleep oh, at all? No, we're staying here. You guys are staying full we're awake. Staying. Yeah, we don't need sleep. Alright. Are you resting for another hour? Yes. Yes, please. Higher or lower? Higher. You rest peacefully. <laughs> <laughs> no way has it been high. Let me get the rest of Seven. Yes, Why am I it's 35, so 51. After that rest though, better. once you guys have all finished your rest, you kind of wake up, but... You, you can almost feel the sense, you need to get moving. Yeah. I want slept for four hours. Roll so badly. <laughs> right, do, do we need, do we need any... enough for me. No, I don't need a sleep. Do we need any additional healing? Because I'm at 34. I will heal you. I will heal him. Go for it. I'm on D8, uh, plus seven. seven. <coughs> Eight? Yes. Wow, 15 life. That's pretty much basically where you need to be. So that's what <laughs> means that's to you. Yeah. Just try not to burn people alive. I want to deal with an honourable death. I didn't burn them, I melted them. Well, that's still horrible. <laughs> I just smited them. Well, they were, that was honourable. 
<laughs> How is that on the Breathing on them and melting their faces is something else. <laughs> yeah, dealing the, the death of a god is a worthy death. Firebolt is good. <laughs> when you've seen what I see, when you see when you've seen what I've seen, you question the power of the gods as to whether they are all powerful. <laughs> I'd like this guy's an enigma practice. wrapped in a puzzle. Forget that. Use whatever moves you want. Alex, you good well. Uh, no, but. What do you want? 35 out of 51. Uh, you got one more uh, hit. Uh, 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 right, I'll heal you as well. Yeah? yeah? Cheers, man. So I've only got one slot left for my. You my cast two spells. Yeah. <laughs> Five plus seven is twelve. So can I use cure wounds again? Yeah, yeah. So I get yeah. twelve. Yeah. It's just you can use those spells to tap yeah. on any of those spells cool. you like. I'm at forty-seven yeah. now. I'm good. Right. You're basically peachy. Cool yeah. yeah, yeah. That's good. All right, all right. You head through the door. <coughs> you see as a group, you spin in the door and you go through. As you walk through, it goes from very nice and still and quite, you know, it was nice back there. It's now bloody, but yeah. it was nice no, there. And it's quite well kept, and then it starts to turn more into a cave kind of appearance. Okay. It becomes a very dank and dark. A dark, dwelling. And dark and, yeah, it's kind of a dwelling kind of thing. Um, you can almost hear kind of drops of water, and from that you assume that's the same stream that they used to connect up to here. Yeah. Um, as you're walking through, you then see this big... Um, Actually, roll, roll a perception check. Each person. Seven. I'm going to use a luck 26. point. I'm going to use a luck point to re-roll that. Uh, Eleven in total. Alright. As you go to walk, there's suddenly... You, um, as you're walking through, it's quite dark, so none of you can really see. Even you, when you're looking, you're looking up. But you, your sense, it kind of kicks in and you stop yourself. Just as the rest of you who don't almost go and almost what did you get? Six. You almost go to saunter off with this edge and drops down. All roll a saving stop. throw. What? Wait. What? what? All roll a saving throw with advantage. De- um, acrobatics. Acrobatics saving throw. Okay. With advantage. With advantage. Well, d- That's d- you get the advantage d- from him telling you, but you're already in the motion. It'll be a dexterity saving throw. Yeah. yeah. Dexterity acrobatics, throw. yeah. Well, no, wait, wouldn't acrobatics well, is, 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 is it a saving throw, throw or is it a skill, skill check? check? Oh, yeah, no, no, sorry. Yeah, yeah, save dexterity. 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 Oh, right. Ooh, 19. Cool. With advantage, yeah. <coughs> what did you get? 21 in total. So, 21. Yeah, so as you go, you almost literally will saunter off of this edge and it drops down to the, like this abyss. But you have to stop yourself. You then realise uh, there's this bridge going across this gap. And it seems to go along even further and get darker. You can kind of see in the distance another bridge. Don't worry, some guys. Some rocks, but it's there, there. There seems to be some rocks placed everywhere. Don't worry, we would have been fine on Earth Fall. We look <laughs> down though, and it looks just like it. It's just dark. There doesn't seem to be anywhere. Any what can we hear? You can't see the wrong. You hear the drip, drip, drip. Suddenly though, you do hear one noise. <laughs> Oh, it echoes throughout the whole cave. Beast again, he's back. You better ch- nature check again. This time, now we're closer. Let me see if I can identify. I don't know that. why did your one there. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know the nature of this beast. As you guys are, as you guys are walking, though, you see, you go. I'm mean, guessing. Do you want to go on the bridge? What do you want to do? I want to check the bridge. All right. I'm running investigation here. Three. <laughs> as. This bridge seems sturdy. As I do not see a bridge. <laughs> as, this bridge seems sturdy. As, as, as your investigation check is, you check it, everything seems fine with the bridge. Oh, okay. Good to know. Yeah. One thing you guys, um, <coughs> roll an investigation check, you, because you're the one that seems to be looking at things right now. Fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. Eight. So, as you, as you look around though, what you think you do notice is there's lots of these stone things, but one, one that catches your eye is in the background. There seems to be a couple of statues. You also look over into the distance across the bridge, and you see you see almost so, um, a, a statue of a person, which none of you could notice, right at the edge, because um, this bridge is about fi- um, twenty foot long, but it's quite dark, and you guys seem to be blind as bats right now. <laughs> and you notice there's a per- uh, almost a stone figure of a um, person who's like taking a step off the bridge. Um, like this. How high up is the cabin? How tall does the cabin go? It goes up about. Has anything? I would like to do a check. Feet. What can turn things to stone? Um, Gordon, um, 
So what I what I would like to do, or um, there's that bird thing that could do. Why don't you discuss it first? But, um, what, well, no, no, no. What, what I would like to do <coughs> is. Oh, by the way, if you're trying to look up stuff. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm looking at my skills to see which one I should use to try and work it out. I would like to cast a spider climb on myself and walk on the ceiling to get over to the other side. The ceiling is quite slippery. So I've got spider climb, which means I can walk on it hands free, upside down anyway. It doesn't matter if it's going to be or not, I can walk on it. Alright, um, okay then. Um, but does it go up to the cabin, go up to the top with no top? No perceivable top? Um, it's quite a sharp, quite sharp, um, rough terrain. Oh, on the top it's got stone lights, just with pink stack lights. lights. Yeah. Stack lights. Not worth it's it. Very sharp. We'll have a look across this bridge. Um, who else can do a nature check to see what's going on with those statues over there? I, I can do one, but I don't get any plus to nature I'll also support yours. Well, I get plus, so maybe you support me. How does that work? Can I use help to help it? That's in combat only, so yeah. not really. Okay, well, let's just... Well, I'll try an edge we, we, we can do I'll untrained. I'll see if I know. We'll do untrained. 14. 4. Uh, 20. Well, <laughs> it kind of th throws to your mind. You guys don't really know what's kind of going on, but you kind of hint, go, statues. You notice and you kind of peel your eyes, even though you were like looking at this bridge going, <laughs> you know, go serious, and you, and you look over into the distance, you see the statue, and your face goes pale. You, 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 re you, re you recognise almost some of the statues as well, but you were just stuck there looking at the statue. What's wrong? I don't get this. You, you kind of, you, you recognise... <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you recognise the kind of creature that almost might do this, and almost get a punctuate your answer. From over there, um, uh, over to your right side, to the right side of you, there was this big rock, and big. Uh, you see a footprint, a foot go around the side, and a <laughs> echo through the cavern. It comes around the side, and what you see is this um, large, huge basilisk. Basilisk! Oh, don't look at it in the eyes. Roll. Um, roll. Roll a. Uh, everyone roll a dice. <laughs> Your nature check is not Which going dice? Just roll a dice. What's Everyone a roll a d20. Like? Well, it's, like a, it's like a lizard, isn't it? Massive lizard. Yeah. Oh, I get to reroll once, so that's oh. alright. Well, oh, crit. Crit. I'm gonna re I, um, it's not good. I, 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 I'm, I'm, in, I'm in absolute 15. awe of this lizard, and I just look at it like that, right in its eyes, like that. <laughs> 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 yeah. I try to read that. All right. Um, as it comes around the side, the eyes are blue. That's what you, because since you see, take a look at, you get to see its full thing. Okay, yeah. it's got it's got full scales. Most basilisks you kind of remember are, are medium sized, but surprising about this one is it's quite large. It's almost uh, like most basilisks are around five feet um, with um, like seven feet long. This one, on the other hand, is like eight, <coughs> feet, eight feet tall and then ten feet wide. It's quite big for a basilisk. No, it's got rows and rows of teeth like a shark yeah. with its mouth, and it's got this literal, most likely kind of lizard shaped thing. That's why I'm looking at it so yeah. freakishly, I'm just like, wow, and, and, I'll never and, see and, anything like And with this. the eyes, it then goes and it, ah, with its tongue out, yeah. and you suddenly make a de um, constitution saving throw. Oh, luckily I'm right at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 9 plus uh, 10. ten. 19, yeah. You have plus ten. On he, 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 he's pretty close to the plus five and his constitution. Oh, you're fine. Wow. <laughs> what wow. saving throw? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. He, got, he gets a plus ten constitution saving throw. Dang. You somehow are able to look at this and you feel a part of you starting to turn and be petrified into stone, but you don't just look away and it just disappears. Well, you, you say that you you get you I get, get plus seven attacks. Yeah. Well, do you look That's away or do you not? Your stealth. Yeah. Do you look away or do you not? Yeah, I was, I was just like saving throw. It's just not like that. I look away. Alright. Alright, everyone roll initiative. Alright, in, right. in that time that he's looking at that, can I cast something? No, you can't do anything initiative oh. first. That's how initiative works. Right, so I get 19 I get anything from my crit? plus oh. 4 plus my charisma modifier. 14. Oh, yeah, Leo, did I get anything? 14, 19. 25. 25. Wow. Okay, what, did you, what have you got? Did I get anything with my crit? The bass has got um, you just averted your eyes and you averted his even though he did. <laughs> you averted everyone's eyes because of your crit, you kept everyone. Look away! Do you know it's a basilisk then? I assume so. Oh, I shouted basilisk. Oh, well, you know what it is. Yeah, I went basilisk! You saw the foot before the eyes, so. Um, yeah. yeah, I got a, um, a seven. Seven. <laughs> 25. <laughs> 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 
All right, what What's did you get? What's a basilisk? Get? What's a basilisk? It turns you to skeleton. Oh, I see. Right. All right, Alex, you're up first. Right, uh, has the basilisk seen me? Um, it's seen all of you. Right. Can um, what, <coughs> do you do? what do you do? Well, it says. Can I hide behind one of uh, Can I hide behind Aaron? Yeah, go for it. With my movement? Yeah, hide. Roll and roll. Um, so I have to do a stealth check to see if I hide. Um. I, well, it's, it'll be, um, I'd say you'd have to roll the stealth. Hmm. Basically, I want to hide behind him and then try a sneak attack against mm. the basilisk. But to hide properly, you'd need to position yourself properly behind so you have to know where it is. So are you going to look at it to see where you need to position yourself? Because you can't just hide otherwise. You have no, mm. If you haven't looked at it, you have no clue where it is. All you know is there's any... Yeah, well, I can tell him where it is. I've seen it. Ah, but you can't right now. Um, this is him just reacting. To be honest, like if, yeah. while if, you were doing that looking, this is what his, he's doing. Yeah. If we can't even look at it, I, I, think, I don't think it's worth staying to fight it. Can I protect, mm. give myself protection really from good or evil? Huh? If I give myself protection from good, evil, good or evil, it won't protect me. Yeah. I, I speak with animals. animals. You can give it a try, but on your turn. On my turn. This is his turn. This Damn is it. just what he wants to do. I don't see the point in fighting it if I can't even see it. Run to the bridge. To the you bridge? Can, you can give it an attack. Back. It's like... Oh, I'll run to the bridge and then cut the bridge. It's 40 yeah. feet... It's, I'd say it's about 40 feet away from wait, you. Wait, is it on our side of the bridge or the other side of the bridge? On your side. Okay. Yeah, so run across the bridge and then cut the bridge when it comes past. I'll try yeah, you can just, you can just sprint yeah. for the bridge. You like hear Basilisk. You have you've been told to avert your eyes um, yes, by a map. Yeah. Do you All want right. to run for the bridge? Fine, run for the bridge. All right. How long is the bridge, by the way? Huh? How long is the bridge? 50, I think I said fifteen foot long. Yeah, okay, fifteen so feet long. Um, I'd, I'd say like twenty so feet because you're like five <laughs> feet away from the bridge. So, um, roll an acrobatics check. Oh, I yes, acrobatics. Because you're just like <laughs> oh, natural twenty plus ten. <laughs> you're literally, <laughs> as, soon, as soon as you hit Basilis, your guy just doesn't even look. Just goes. He, you, yeah, you, <laughs> just, you just hit. You just hit. And it, as you're running, the actual bridge itself has got cracks all through it, and that would normally be a problem for most, but you just go... <laughs> <laughs> you, you, right you, right you, you just run wow. on the road. You go all side. across, all the way to their side, and you get across, and you look back to them, but not looking like in your corner. Yeah, just very really carefully like, looking. Come up. on! <laughs> you just run on the road to the side. <laughs> yeah. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to do for your turn? Is that it? Um, I mean... <sighs> prepare, prepare to... Or prepare a reaction or something. If you want to. Yeah, what can I prepare? Reaction is a reaction. It means if you're not going to do anything, you're always worth preparing a reaction. I would ready the dodge action. All right, I'm going to ready my uncanny dodge. Right. <coughs> Could you <coughs> opportunity <coughs> attack it? Could he opportunity attack the bridge if necessary? Um, no. no. Opportunity no. attack is the idea that they've just attacked you and you attack them back. Okay. Or, or opportunity attack is also yeah. they go out. You want to ready that dodge action? Um, no, I want to ready that dodge. You action. can't ready that. It's not reaction. It says reaction, uncanny dodge. Oh, okay, fine. Oh, then ready that. Yeah. Yeah. That's so ready. you're going to just prepare, not that, you're going to just prepare a reaction in general. Yeah. And then you can choose whichever one. Yeah. Oh, can I? Okay. That's, the, great, yeah, that's okay. the beauty of a reaction. Ready a reaction. Because it's reacting to whatever happens. Yeah. Right. So you prepare a reaction. All right. It is now your turn, Josh. What are you going to do? I thought Aaron was more than me. No, I'm not. Nope. Oh, well, since I've heard the bridge is a bit rickety, I might just teleport across. Your yeah, you, you have you haven't heard it anything. You, you have to do roll to perception check to see if you know that. Because actually, when you checked the bridge, um, Josh, you thought the bridge was fine. You looked at that and said it's okay. When you actually checked uh, ninety. It. But on second thought, in this thing, you actually look and you see that the bridge is a bit rickety. I think you should go for it because at worst, I can use a reaction to throw a rope to you or something. Or you can just teleport while up while you're throwing. I mean, you can't. If it's right. I could feather fall you. No, duration is down, oh, yeah. Uh, okay, I guess I will run across it. Alright, roll an acrobatics check. Wow, great. great. <laughs> yeah, somehow, Two you, of us. you <laughs> also heard Basilisk and you just, you saw the half thing run across and you just followed right behind him. And at the same time, you both went <laughs> across. <laughs> I got the side. <laughs> like, he was like this, and doing like um, doing like three different steps a second. You were doing like one massive stride <laughs> behind him. <laughs> um, I think so. My my acrobatics is plus five bonus, so that would have been twenty five, wouldn't it? Yeah, but it doesn't matter if you crit you like in <laughs> A crit always means means the best kind of success. <coughs> so you get you get across the bridge just fine. You're you in. What do you want to do else on your turn? I'll prepare a reaction. As well. All right, you prepare your reaction. All right, it is now your turn. 
Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna use my spell jump to jump across the chasm. <laughs> are you gonna try talk to it? No, I just jump. No, I'm just gonna jump. Are you are you looking at the basilisk? What are you doing? Can he t- can he talk to it and then do a jump? Are you go- what are you gonna do? Avert your eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not looking at it. I didn't like looking right, at it. So you don't you can't you don't know where it is now. <laughs> no. Right. Didn't like the look of it. What, what are you gonna do now? Nasty. I'm just going to use my jump ability. Uh, well, I'm going to cast it one action. So I, tu- I t- touch myself, apparently. You touch a creature. <laughs> <laughs> I touch myself. <laughs> Creature's jump distance is tripled until the jump ends. What's your jump cool. distance? Yeah. For, uh, I don't know what, what would be a jump distance. Uh, I believe you do that right. through um, something to do with the strength mod. I forget exactly. Yeah. Oh, it was uh, athletics. Athletics, yeah. My... So I just roll. So I What's your get. strength? My strength is... Athletics is, there you go, plus six. So yours would be 18 distance then. It's a 15 yeah. foot bridge. Yeah. And he's and tripling his attack. Jumping five foot is pretty reasonable, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So I'll tripling that. Yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah, you I would make it with that. You would yeah. make it with yeah. that. So I just jump across the chasm. Do you go, two. you feel like this energy. Is that, you is that run. a cantrip or is that a... No, it's a spell. I've just used my action. You run, you jump. And you over jump the action bridge. <laughs> you ever jump the actual bridge and you um you land o- ahead of them, almost in front of them, and you land on your feet. Nice. Is there anything else you'd like to do for your turn? Uh, or was that an action? To that do? was an action. So, so that's your turn. There. Yeah. All right. Well, it's now the Vasilis' turn, and it, it after this roar, it then it then goes and it starts running, and it's running in your direction. Oh, my direction. Yeah, because he's the only one that's on the bridge. It's running your direction, roaring. It's your turn. Um. Yeah, I'll. Ooh, could mm-hmm. you cast anything on it to make it um, no. not be able to run? No. Are you going to avert your eyes? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to head over the bridge as well. Alright, roll acrobatics check. I think it's roll well. Please. <laughs> That's a five plus. Oh, it's alright, I've got a way out. I'm fine. Five plus two, so it's heavy. Yes. Yeah. As you go, as you go, as you go to run across the bridge, as you go to run across the bridge, it snaps on the thing, and you um, it snaps on the thing, and you get stuck your, your leg through, and you're in, you're um, effectively incapacitated in this thing. Oh. Okay. Well, what I would then like to do is on I would like to. You haven't. You've only moved like two feet on the bridge. Yeah, yeah. I I, I just want to cast dimension door to teleport myself up to their side. Um, you're incapacitated. You um, can't. Not um, dimension door is verbal only. Verbal only? Yeah, cool. Dip, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so how does a yeah, work? Cool. Um, yeah. I can teleport yeah. 500 feet in any direction. Jeez. Yeah, with a door. <laughs> Sorry? Is it with a door? No, does no, it, no. Does I, it make a door? T- um, teleport yourself in your current location to any other spot within range. You can arrive at, at exactly the spot desired. It can be a place you can see, one you can visualise, or one you can describe by... Um, by um, starting distance and direction, such as 200 feet straight downwards or upwards and northwest, 40 so degree angle, see. 300 feet. So you literally just become Nightcrawler. Uh, That's pretty awesome. I can bring along yeah. objects um, and one willing creature. But yeah, alright, so you dimension door, you get stuck in the thing, and then you dimension door to the other side. That takes the bridge, bridge he's, had he's, yeah. around it. He's, he's in the bridge. He's took that nope. plank with him. Nope. Yeah. No, he probably just teleports straight to the no. I mean, right, if yeah. you could do that as a reaction, that would have been great because he could have jumped at you while no, he was on the it, t- it takes one action to cast. So. All right, um, it's now uh, your go, Alex. Okay, where you is the say. basilisk at this point? Do I do I know that perception? Can I hear it? Can I? No. <coughs> thing. Are you going to look about where it is? No, I'm not going to look. But can I hear if it's changed from being on the stone cavern to on the wooden bridge? Um, the wooden bridge is broken. Do I know? No, it's not really. To break. Not really. No. I, d- I have no idea. No. Right, I would like well, to know. I would like, have to look. Could you roll a check to see if there's another way around the chasm or if it has to go over the bridge? Yeah. Uh, what's the modifier for that then? Perce- Investigation. Perception. Investigation. Perception. Perce- yeah, then just do. Perce- oh, no, it's it. Yeah, well, what, do you want to see another way around? Well, yeah, I want to use perception to see if there's another, way, another way, around. way around, yeah. Um. Well, you saw that other bridge before in the distance. Okay, so what they he can go across that other bridge if necessary. You don't know that. Yeah. I'm not gonna say anything. All right. What are you gonna do? I've no idea. We need to. Be I able wanted to, get to back. leave. <laughs> yeah. You can't leave now. We need I know. To, to get back. You're on the other side of the bridge. After a long rest, you can leave. We I'll need teleport to keep at least one bridge. So we need or you to can teleport us all out. I just used my last four level spell slot. Yeah, but if we 
we can avoid the battle there because we can rest, in theory, or maybe you can kill it and we can rest and then we can teleport back out. So I'm not bothered about getting back out as long as you're still alive. Yeah. I might just cut the bridge. Buy us some time. Yeah, go for it. On cut the bridge. All right, roll damage. Oh, damage. Yeah, it's just straight uh, damage. You're gonna hit the bridge. So. Uh, three plus four is seven damage. You go in cutting the rope, but it's not bro just broke yet. You snapped one of the <coughs> but the other side is still. It's it has other supports, so the bridge is still up. Right. So but it's weakened. It's almost okay. gone. Okay. So then it's my turn, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You've got to cut the other rope. Can I just fire bolt it? Uh, I'll fire the rest of it. Give a go at it, yeah. Fire bolt the bridge. <laughs> the, 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 the bit that's holding it up. The rope. The rope. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Oops, yeah, this, because, because you're doing yeah. projectile, you need to roll to see if you actually need it. Awesome. I'm right next yeah. to it like that, that's what I'm doing. You've still got to roll because oh, you're okay. more magic. You think, so. 14. Yeah, you'll be. <laughs> just like a check on the thing. Wow, 11. Yeah, so you then go with the thing, he's just cut it and then you're like, he's that there. And you just burn it and the thing collapses. It's the guy from My Hero Academia. <laughs> back again. Back again, it's gonna back again. Yeah. <laughs> it, but it goes in the bridge and then falls. Yeah. Only one side, which is important, because then if we can levitate it back up, we can still cross it. Mm. Yeah, the bridge and falls down, you see it then slam across. Across the cabin and the cave down yeah. the bottom wall. So the bass is on the other side now. Yeah. And we're alright. Mm. Yeah, so we could have potentially killed it if it was on the bridge, but this might buy us more time to get out and get go to the next area. Yeah. Does anyone know anything about basilisks? <laughs> well you, you can still hear it's you can still hear it's roaring, but I'm guessing you guys are avoiding looking on the other side. Yeah. Are you even <coughs> gonna, like look to see what can happens? I, can I bridge? try and look at it in the reflection of my dagger? Go for it. Like use it as a mirror. And yeah, maybe you can get away with it like that. Uh, Seventeen plus what? Yeah, yeah. So you you then you spot it in the flesh and die. You see it literally got right up to the bridge at that point, and as soon as it would drop, make it uncon save. Yeah. Cool. Its eyes then go straight to you. Uh, it's D twenty, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh Chris, twenty. 20. <laughs> you, 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 you look and then as it's as you feel yourself start to turn, you're like, nah, nah. <laughs> 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 you you look at that. Turn you the know. knife so mirror attack goes back at itself. Yeah, you, you, you look and start to turn the basilisk back to seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am a basilisk now! <laughs> <laughs> Lord of the basilisks. <laughs> right, yeah. shall we... I assume that we're out of combat step now, so we could just run and look for the next area. I, I, would, I feel like we've disengaged at the minute. I don't yeah. know, do, have we? Do you, what, do you want to keep us in initiative or not? Right, then Leo. Uh, then, uh, Are we still in turn order, order or can we just do what we want now? What's your name, Leo? Um, yeah, you can do what you want, Lorne. Atrak! Scout the area, we need to find an exit. Oh, way forward. Like right now. <laughs> right now! <laughs> Good. Oh, <laughs> that, that was nearly very bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 19 plus one well, yeah. perception. So what you so. notice is because you look forward rather than looking back at the bridge, and you notice that there was another rock, there was another big rock because there was the bridge behind you, and there's this another big rock here, yeah, and you can see that then it, it, the cave then starts to become nice and fine again. And there's a corridor going around the walls, and it goes down. You can see some stairs going down. Um, this this way, this rock, way, what do we do? We run this way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, before you guys head off, there's something I want to try. I want I want to try casting sleep, but as a third level spell, okay. so I get... Don't nine, waste your spells. I get, I get 98 to other hit points to try and knock out this bastard. Nah, leave it. Leave it. You've probably got like 100. You can hear it's roaring right behind you. Don't bother. Yeah. yeah. Just go. I should have to look at it in your turn. Yeah, I you wouldn't have to look at it. You won't <coughs> know where it is. You won't hit it otherwise. It's in a 90 feet, ra 90 foot radius of... of, of um, enemies around me. Then you would also get, also get your enemies. You also get your companions. He's only enemies. Strix. Strix, there's no point. Let's go to the corridor. Come on. Okay. Mm. You can do that if you want. Go for it. Do what you want, but we're all leaving you. Yeah, we're yeah, going. Yeah, alright, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not staying. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. Alright, so as you, you go, to, I'm guessing you guys will run and descend the steps yeah. quickly. As you're descending the steps, you'll go down. I actually want you to roll an acrobatic oh, thing because you were all rushing down these stairs. Acrobatic. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm not it. Russian. Chris Scott fail. Sean. No, uh, oh. Chris Scott fail. He's tripped over his own foot again. Yeah. <laughs> um, acrobatics. Acrobatics. 18. Yeah. 17. Yeah. 30. Oh. Do you know what? No, I'm going to be nice. Do you have advantage for this? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> Alright, two! <laughs> no way! <laughs> Oh, I told you, you I was heavy footed, damn it. You were 16. <laughs> well, no, no, no. He does have plus 8, so it would be 10. I got 28. No, so, he, so you guys are all running to go, go down, down the stairs. You kind of lose your footing a bit and stumble through it down there, making a really loud racket. You just yeah. can't do stairs. You keep the you <laughs> yeah. thing. You almost like. And then they follow behind uh-huh. you. Ah, my greatest enemy. As you've gone, d- as you've gone down the stairs. <laughs> as you've gone down the stairs, you then kind of go into this. Um, you see this turn. There's a big, heavy door to your left. And then a tiny bit of like five foot car on another door. The light is streaming in from both sides. Which door? Door check. Good to evil check. Yeah, buddy. <coughs> what do you think? Do, 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 do the thing about the big bats around you in a mile radius. It's a yeah, mile radius. Really it's a mile radius. It's going to be everywhere. No, but he yeah. gets pinged at specific locations of where they are. So, you can so see he would still have, would he still have that active now? No. No, no, I have to use a spell slot for it. I've used all my spells. Oh, spell oh, oh, no, Pick a door, left or right. Perception check. I don't want to run through it. Can I blow open a door? Um, go for it. I can blow open the door. It's probably not worth doing that, is it? Can, can, I? Well, can I go first? Yeah, you go first. Because I might be able to do all right, that what are you guys in? Yeah. What are you guys in? I'll go first, because I'm not fucking hanging about with, for a basilisk. <laughs> right or left? Uh, we'll go left. Right. Yeah, you can still hear the uh, basilisk roars. We're we'll going left, right. straight away. Yeah, left. I'll, I'll go first. All right, you try the left door. It's locked. Right, keep going. Go right. Yeah. <laughs> locked. Fucking okay, next one. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the right door. Are you just opening it? Yeah. Okay, you open the door and you see it's a room filled with. Um, there's some barrels to the right, and you almost notice as well a kind of little campfire by the side. It's all very well and nice. The barrels are in the centre. There's this big table. The room is about. 25 by 25 feet is a square, okay. and in the centre is this big table, and around the table, <laughs> and around the table are 10, um, 13 individuals. Right, I'm going to shout to you straight away, stand back. <laughs> I, I, no, no, don't attack, don't attack, no, we need to ask, we need to come I'm attacking. <laughs> need to speak. I'm no, if you attack, we're locked into battle then. Yeah, yeah let's converse. converse, let's converse. Let's try and talk. If it doesn't work, okay, you got, you If you've got good okay. charisma, because yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I'll walk yeah. up behind you. Start, you start okay, I'll charisma. walk up behind you, though, and say, make sure you leave your line of sight. No, uh, before you guys do your stuff, you, um, before you guys are doing that, you, um, um, you see these, uh, these, these 13 individuals, they'll clink. Hey! <laughs> you can almost hear a bit of music in the thing, and they'll be like, ah, oh, that was a good one, good one. No, all right, go, do another gamble, do another gamble. And one of, there's, you can see there's three um, hooded ones there. <gasps> and they, they put in a bit of gold, and the other ten are like, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. They're having a great time. And then they kind of hear this door burst open, like, oh, is that, is that Johnny? He's cut. He's, and they just see, they see you, this tiny dude, just standing there. Right, 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 right. okay, so, oh, no. so. I'm going to use my by popular demand thing. I can always find a place to perform, usually in an inn or tavern, but possibly with a circus, <laughs> at a theatre, or even in a noble oh, court. Wow. At such a place, you receive free lodging and food of a modest and comfortable standard, depending on the quality of the establishment, as long as you perform each night. In addition, your performance makes you something of a local figure. When strangers recognise you in a town where you performed, they typically take a liking to you. Yeah, I'm going to try and perform right do now. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is wow. a brilliant idea. Do it. I go, Johnny sent me, I'm the entertainment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Total confidence. All right. Yeah. All right, roll it, roll it, performance thing with um, advantage. Oh, they, are, wow. they are wasted. They, they're looking and they're all a bit confused. That's they, uh, they're like, oh, is that, jo- is that, is that Johnny? Five, that's 16. Yeah, that succeeds. They, <laughs> they, they, they all look and they go, Is that Johnny? No, it's not Johnny. Well, who is it then? It must be his performer! And they go, Hey! <laughs> yes! <laughs> they don't notice the rest of you guys, like in the background, and you kind of go, Yeah, I'm the performer. <laughs> I'm going to whip out my bagpipes and start playing. Stop playing. Like Let's so disappear well. behind and you open the other door. Yeah, you should okay. try that. Right. So right. I'm going to close the door. Are you going to close the door? Um, 
Where, um, yeah, 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 I'm going to kick the door shut behind you. Or leave it, it, it ajar. No, I'm, right. I'm going to put a shit shut. Do a just, performance. Just sort of look at you and just go like that. Do another do another performance um, thing. Another performance. I want to just see how well you're going to play your instrument. Uh. <laughs> 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 Alright, so I'm going to use my last nut. No! Nice. There we go. Yeah, that's that's a 21. Oh, you're like. You just crack it and you go, I'm the performer. Because we've got to sell this right now. Yeah. <laughs> Best bagpipe player. Yeah. You're never. Uh, like, yeah. they all I'm like dancing around singing sea shanties. Yeah. Like. <laughs> they all hear it and they're like, oh, this is the stuff. And they all start linking arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I jump up on a table. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you, even have, you even have the three, like, and um, scarf features. So, you, you know, you guys know what they are. But yeah, yeah. you have them kind of going. <laughs> yes. 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 The yes. Yes. At the end, just at the end. I brought the undead back to life. Thank you, thank you. I'm the pint sized piper. <laughs> <laughs> do, oh, do you want to go oh. more into the centre of the room as well? Yeah, they, yeah. they go they go after this. Why not? Like, that was a that was a great song. Oh I loved it. Oh, come and join the come and join the gambling. Yeah, yeah, come and join. Oh, excellent. And, and I just like man as well. You see they have like a ton of gold in the centre of this room, okay? Like tons of stuff all added. In, okay? oh, and amazing. they're all, and they're all playing. And they're they're saying, oh, we're playing cards. So I am. Do you want to join in this game? Um, and then and one of the person who's acting as the card dealer is one of the undead. He kind of walks over and he, like, looks at you with his scarf in his face. And he goes, yeah. one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, five. And he passes them around. You can see they're using multiple decks. It's like their own version of it. Yeah, and yeah. so what you basically realize quite quickly is you're playing poker. Okay. At this table. Great. Nice. All right. So, what do you want to do? There's two, the hand. Um, they give you. They, they say, "Have you got anything to bring to the table?" Yeah, I've got. Uh, oh, hang on. What can I do? Uh, I've got a bear rug. <laughs> yeah. Bear rug, I have. I oh, would do that. Too. <laughs> I have an exquisite bear rug. <laughs> I killed the bear myself. <laughs> right. Roll, 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 roll a deception check on that yeah. with advantage. Uh. Please. <laughs> Please. Yeah, that's got to be 14 it. plus deception, 2, uh, 16. They all look and they go, no way, you killed himself. And one I'm as the, amazed as you are. One of, <laughs> one of the ruffians is even like, what? Whoa, and he like puts his arm around you. Like, <laughs> you know, you, you remind me of my brother, you know, like, oh my god. We, we, these, we go way back, you know, <laughs> and, he's like, and you're like, oh, exquisite bear rug, and you put it on the table, and they're like, oh, I'll put one in. You see them, they get out like 20 gold coins in there, <laughs> chucking them on the table, and they're all betting, and they're going, oh, I'll, I'll, put, I'll have to put in something of equal value, so they all put in stuff, gems, <laughs> you know, like, oh, no, bear rug, bear rug. Yeah. You realise <laughs> <you realize, laughs> quite quickly that um, um, these ruffians have obviously been like, you know, <coughs> killing travellers and stuff like that. Yeah, but yeah. They've been taking this stuff like travellers' goods and then using it to play poker. <laughs> and you've just joined in on it. Yeah. Um, oh, so the, the first game is uh, commenced, okay, and they play the cards. You know how poker yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. And they play it. So um, roll, roll to see your hand. Actually, no, I'm going to roll. I'm, I'm going, going, going to. Cards I've got a pack of cards. I think I do as well. <laughs> <laughs> you have five cards in hand. I want well, you to. Yeah, yeah. Poker, yeah. you have two in hand. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Sorry, you have yeah. two cards. <laughs> five on the table and two yeah. in hand. Five on the table. Yeah. So you have two in hand. All right. Um. Yeah. All right. Higher or lower? Uh, let's go higher. Your hand is actually really good. Your hand is actually quite good. You have you, you know some good cards that could get you a good run and stuff. And they match, and it seems to match with what's on the thing. Pure poker game right now. So, yeah, yeah it's, it seems to be quite good right now. See the house is a bit of flavour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your hand's quite good. Um, you can see the others; they're trying to do things, and they're, they, you've got a few of them are going. Oh, it's a crap hand! Because obviously they're all drunk; they can't keep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, no they're, poker, they're, face. poker faces are gone. <coughs> you do you see how some um, two of the undead figures sitting there? They're completely blank because they, they, you know, they have no emotion. And just saying, you know, that can't you can't tell anything from them. But a few, or one, you have one of them who's kind of going, <laughs> smiling to himself. So about nine of them bad hands. One of them, or two, no, I would say two of the seven, or eight of them bad hands. From what you can see from the expressions, two of them seem to be smug and smiling, and then the two undead you have no clue. <coughs> the other, the other un, um, undead scoundrel with the uh, thing, he's just he's the dealer, so he's yeah, yeah. 
he's the one doing out the cards, you know, really slowly. <laughs> yeah. So what do you want to what do you want to do with the? Um, we're in now, aren't we? <laughs> 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 Fuck it. Yeah. Um, I will go all in. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. oh, I can't go, bet half a bear skin, can I? Yeah. So you all go in. all in, you go all in, and then they all look at you, and um, none of them, and they all just go. And that, now I'm out, like five of them say that. Four of them go, this mad brother. You could really go. Yeah. <laughs> sure, I'll put all in, they're like, why not? <laughs> so they they chuck that in. The, the, two, the two undead who are sitting there, riches they, just, the they, they, they look at you, one of them goes, oh, another one goes, my guy. another one just goes, and the two confident guys, yeah, and the two confident guys, they don't even think about it, they're like, oh, this is mine, <laughs> they all put in um, 20 gold each, Jesus. Cool. to put with your bear skin. Right. Which is not worth anything. Oh wow. What are you sat with? It's important now. I don't know. Yeah. Um you're starting with a good hand so it matches with the cards well. Oh nice. Okay. So you just think of two cards that go <coughs> So yeah, I'm gonna say four. a four. <laughs> yeah. And a seven. Yeah. Four and seven, I think. Mm. Three, four, five, six. So what, are you going to yeah. just play your hand down and be, show your hand? And be bang? Um, well, you're all in, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, then so the yeah. next one gets through the mm. <laughs> Yeah, mm. I'm going to show my hand. All right. So, you, so you, show, you show your hand, all right? And your hand is basically quite a killer hand. Go, boom. Oh, what, well, how's your reaction when you play it? I should put it down and go, looks like I'm keeping the bear skin, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and the two smoke ones are like, I know, well, that's a tech... <laughs> they look at their cards and look back at it and they go and they look at each other and they go I think we lost mate and we did as well <laughs> and they drop their cards and they're just like god dang it we lost all our cash the undead though he look, he looks and goes he <laughs> 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 places his cards down <laughs> he places his cards down and it's literally just one better like I, uh, yeah, it's just one card better, it just beats you. And the, the undead is literally, you, like he's wearing this bandana, but you can kind of just, he kind of just... Am I, am I close to him at all? Um, I'd say so, yeah. Can I very, very quickly try Slight of Hand? <laughs> Go for it! Go for it! <laughs> Don't mess this up. I'll try! <laughs> oh no, not a one. That is a 20, but not natural. <coughs> no, damn. That is a 20. Okay. 10 plus 10. Yeah. Wow. So as you, um, what you, what's your plan to do wow. with your sleight of hand? I want to swap one of the cards from my pocket, <laughs> which mm. is like a, a, let's call it a, um, a jack. Yeah. I'm going to swap that with one of his cards very, very quickly. Within in his hand? No, no, on the, he puts it down on the table and before anyone actually reads it... So, oh, can I take a look? Oh, okay. You mean I just go, oh, that's a great hand. Oh, wait, no, sorry. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> also, yeah, so you, that's, that's your sleight of hand, but now roll a... Um, roll a um, deception. A deception. Yeah. Or, no. or a performance. One of the choice. Performance, please. <laughs> 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 Nineteen. Oh, what a skin of my team! You play it, and, and you play the hand, and as he's playing, he goes smiles and goes, and looks at everyone and plays it. And as you do, you yeah, go, I think you had a few too many. Oh. <laughs> you like him to go, oh god, oh no, oh that's top. Oh. Wait a second, yeah, he's gonna stop drinking. He looks, he goes, <laughs> looks, looks you up and down, you kind of see a, a slight bit of anger just appear in his like undead eye. Alright, at that point, I'm going to say, more rum? 
And, and then everyone goes, <laughs> and, and, and he, like they all kind of start jumping about slightly, and and you, they give you the pass. Yeah, I'm just like get, scraping it all into my bag. <laughs> you, get, you get about like um, sixty gold from like that. Wow, from that yeah, that's great. Yeah. And you keep your bear right? Yeah. And you yeah. keep your bear right? But uh, <coughs> as you're doing that, they're all jumping about, but the undead guy's still sitting in the chair, just looking at you. Oh yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> this is really. The bear okay, I'm gonna say thank you for your hospitality. Here's the bear rug. He kind of, he looks at you and goes... Right. <laughs> 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 yeah. Whilst they're doing that, we're um, not... I'm actually, actually going to wrap it round his shoulder. Yeah. He like yeah. Him, we'll just, we don't need to wrap it. He kind of comes like, I'm just asking. <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps repeating, he just keeps repeating that word. It's, it's quite a gurgly, <laughs> under sound, but quite horrible to your ears. But still. I should be like, you guys are great. I'll be back next week. <laughs> <laughs> a little like yeah. a bagpipe thing on the way out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, it's just literally robbed and blind. <laughs> 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 are you gonna? Are you gonna go? Um. Well, he, are you gonna, he, he, oh, I guess he's been there. So are you gonna walk back out through the door and then get to come to go back? Yeah, in yeah. The yeah. And then I'm gonna try to find them in the other door. <laughs> All right. So you go out and you close the door behind you. Oh, bye! And they go, Oh, see you later, mate. Oh, he was great, wasn't he? And you still got that undead. Wow. You, know, holding, you still got that undead holding you to look at him. That gives you a little wave. Bear in mind, this guy okay, has a little bandana hood, like, looks what? horrible. Sat there with a bear rope. <laughs> yeah, he, oh, he, he literally even pulls his thing down. Bear in mind, he has no lips. Yeah, he's just, just teeth. teeth, and he's just like. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> okay. Just because he pulls it down for you, pulls it back up, and this guy's like seven foot tall, and the other ones are kind of just milling about. <laughs> like, he has this big ass like great sword on his back, and he's just holding this bare rope. Um, so everyone's good. dancing wow. about. You close the door behind. Now, while you were doing that, what happened? Yeah, to yeah, no, it goes then. Yeah, okay. That's so good. Was I'm so happy. <laughs> so that's exactly what I wanted so to all do. You guys, the, last thing, the last thing you guys have seen, okay? It, <laughs> the last thing you guys have seen is him just go pss, pss, and then close the door, and then all you hear in the background is um. I'm a former Earth! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a former And then you can hear some like cheers and you're like, oh, he's having a good time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Crack on, guess we're not invited. <laughs> <laughs> on the door to your left, um, it, it is locked, but you can feel like you can get it open if you do so. I'll just acid splash the lock. Alright, um. Yeah, do you guys want to like assist him? I don't know. Like, well, well, I can have it. Yeah, alright, you go to the lock and you. And you burn it and yep. you open it. Now inside this room, there seems to be a, it's twenty five feet wide from like where you enter, mm -hmm. and from and where you are, you're, it's only five feet to your right and um twenty um five feet to your right and fifteen feet to your left. Okay. Um, there seems there's a kind of bed. There's a bed one, at one point, and there seems to be a few beds placed. And in this room, you see four bug bears sitting on their beds. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, and one and one goblin just in the centre. He's put in this little cage. Right, hold back, guys. I'm just gonna attack because I don't imagine we're not gonna be able to negotiate with bugbears. Well, have no. they noticed us? They're they're all kind of like poking at this goblin in the oh, cage. They're walk, in the we can walk back out the door and see if there's something um, else we can. Do. Well, there are, isn't there? The door he went in, or this door. Oh, mate. So I'll just kill him. Mostly. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was just gonna fireball the room. Yeah, okay. okay. That make my way to our presence. Yeah. Right. Uh, whilst he's doing that, I'm going to prepare. Um, well, actually, no. First things first. Roll initiative. The bugbears kind of give you a look and they spot you. So, but no, they're they're, they're surprised okay. by your okay. attack. So, because they're all they're all like you can see smiling really horribly and gritty. From it's twenty uh, initiative. And I got fourteen. Um, twenty. Yeah. Twenty so. from Aaron. Fourteen from me. Ten from Josh. Okay. Fourteen from you. <coughs> okay. And what's your ten? Yeah, ten. Um, 14 for you, and, okay, cool, um, yeah, so, um, Aaron, it's your turn first, but I'm guessing you're just gonna come in behind, because he's kind of blocking the door at this point, so you can't really do anything, but get yourself prepared, if that makes sense. Yeah, I just can't chuck a hand axe through the door. Um, yeah, if you want to, if you, you have to, you have to roll just carefully, because he's blocking <coughs> Just move I'm his head This like guy that. is quite oh, a big stat, your character's quite a big statue from, right? Yeah. And so you're kind of, you have to really carefully, like, it would be oh, like, really disappointing. Then, yeah. You can just prepare yourself. Your boat? My, my boat's about six foot, something. Yeah, I'm not You can, can prepare he's he's just push his head to a side and then go like that. 
from behind his back. Um, yeah, go for it um, with disadvantage, though. Okay. Yeah. Plus five, seventeen. Seventeen. That is a uh, hit. Uh, plus five. Um, are you do which one are you throwing at? Because there's like this, this, these four bugbears. There's if this is the door that you just um, Matthew's standing at, and they're crowded around this on this bed thing. There's one, two, three, and four, and then this goblin in this cage in the center. You can see he's kind of like, oh. just the closest one. Yeah, to the and door. Poking, yeah, and so he's almost poking on the thing, and so you chop, you chop your hand axe. You like must move. Yeah. Because you can't. You just completely emotionless as well. And the bug bears can. Kind of, ah, and then he this a hand axe just goes into his arm. How much damage do you do? Eight damage. Eight damage. Yeah. Hang on, that. That's gonna hurt. Try not to kill the goblin. We'll see what happens. <coughs> You're gonna join us halfway through this fight, aren't you? He's gonna burn that goblin alive. Yes. There might not be a halfway through this fight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so 8 damage. Yeah. I'm going to be doing 8d6. Wow. And they take half on the, on the pass of the deck save. So 15. I would get an extra attack as well, but um, I left my hand axe in the acid room. Uh, yeah, you did. <laughs> I was thinking <laughs> that one was on the basilisk bridge. Yeah. I was like, did you pick it up? Yeah, I've got <laughs> that. Right, that's your own fault. <laughs> I'd throw the other katana at him, I guess. But no, um, that's, that's, I think you're that's it, going yeah. with, with that. Um, it's now... Um, it is now um, the bugbear's turn. Okay. He's, this hand axe like in him. Goes, ah, rips that out, and then looks. Only sees you, Matthew. Yeah. He sees this kind of little sneaky hand through the door. With this lizard just gets staring him down, and he stares him down. And he goes, "Boys, we've got a thing." So he would have been surprised, but he's no. Um, he's he's he himself is no longer. Actually, no. Sorry. <coughs> they are surprised by this attack, so they take yes. no more action. Yeah, so, but yeah. they rain with themselves after yeah. it. And like he's just like ah, rips it out. But they draw their weapons and they're ready. Cheeky eight damage in before they actually react to it. But yeah, yeah but they, oh, they don't do anything more that turn. Nice. That was their thing. Right. The goblin though, he he's all he's um he's also surprised and he goes ah, help. Oh, oh little goblin guy. Okay. A goblin oh. might help you out. I'm gonna fireball the room. Oh no, come on. You guys, okay. This I'm sorry. I'm changing good. your alignment from <laughs> neutral good to neutral. You are yeah, no neutral, longer yeah. come on, nowhere man. you're good. A goblin could help you in the fight. Right. That's one more to add to your numbers. It's in a cage. So? Right. What if you free it? Fireball the roof. There might be something wow. you don't. This guy is chaotic. So, um, they need to make it. Yeah, yeah. They need to make it. Chaotic um, evil. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dex yeah. yeah. saving throw a DC 15. You're like, you're, like, you're like chaotic neutral, I think. Chaotic evil? He's just going to murder a goblin when he asks for help. Um, yeah. yeah, actually, no. You're, no, you're definitely. Mm. Chaotic evil, I think. Yeah, I'm actually kind of sensing that as well right now. I want to fireball the room. Oh no, neutral evil because you're leaning to evil. They got to make a sort of you can do some like this. a constitution dexterity dexterity check. Otherwise, they take twenty nine damage. If not, they take half. They take half. Wow. Jesus. Twenty nine is on full. No. Can you make dexterity check and raise a DC fifteen for all of them? Um, a DC fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Um, oh, what happens if they succeed? It's half damage, isn't it? Half damage, so it'll be 15. Alright. <coughs> if he wants to place on my boat, he has got to stop murdering people. Yeah. <laughs> You're a pirate! Yeah, you're not a I don't care! Person. I'm a better pirate than you think I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is not a place on the, on the rogue's... Revenge. Rogue's revenge yeah. ship <laughs> for you. For a chaotic <laughs> evil murderers. <laughs> I hire the best vagrants there are. <laughs> <laughs> Like that guy shouting about murderers. And we just intimidate him and give him our stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We don't yeah. go killing him. Cool. It was what I thought it was. I was just checking my knowledge. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um... It's 15, is it? DC 15. Alright. Alright, um, how much damage is it in total? Full is 29, half is 15. Alright. So, um, you, chuck, you chuck your fireball in, okay? And the, the one that's just got the axe in it, he's like, looks, oh, and it literally shoots into the centre. The goblin's root, he's actually able to, he sees it, he rocks in his cage, he rolls slightly out to the side and gets blasted into the wall. The cage and shatters. He's literally then just left almost being on the ground, but still slightly alive. Oh, God, I'm going to go and heal him. 
Um, and he's got burned scorch marks over him. The one who had the hand axe in, he gets it and the thing hits him full force. So there's another one next to him. However, the two of the others jump behind and jump to the side and they take half damage. So, uh, right, well, how much um, damage is it? It's 29, 29 full. 29 full. And it's rounding down or rounding up? Um, ra oh, I can know it is rounding down, so yes. Yeah, it's not throw another So it's, four, it's 14. Or 14. Alright. Right. I think I can probably finish off most of these now. Yeah, 14, right. 20. Oh my days. Yeah, I was only ever going to do one. I just wanted to do enough to weaken them all so we could take them out easily. You definitely did. Yeah, that. the one that got hit on the arm, risk. he literally got hit right in the centre, in the face, by this force <coughs> almost directed at him more so, and he just got ignited and just disintegrated. Oh, wow. What, the one that had the hand, the hand axe? Yeah. Yes. Nice. Um, I think I might have to buy you some hand axes. Yeah, I suppose. And the others took 14 <laughs> damage, didn't they? Oh yeah, also, you know, any flammable object, object in the room burst into flames. Well, there's a lot. There's like quilts from the beds and they all set on fire. The few barrels they've set on fire. Yeah, and you can, kind of, you can almost, yeah, like goods and stuff, they've all been burnt. Um, yeah. Yeah, you know, you're so chaotic. There is no way that there is even neutral there. <laughs> yeah. Well, After hearing the goblins but, cry for help. The, is, yeah. I'm the only <laughs> actions you have done, and you can change your alignment later on, but right now you are chaotic evil. You have just burnt people's faces multiple times. That's pretty fucked up, mate. You still have something coming for I'm help, and you just went a mystery <laughs> without without any remorse. Yeah, you just went. Murder, innocent yeah. goblins. You didn't even have like a facial expression. The goblin expression. said. Help! And you thought, um, I'm going to incinerate you alive. <laughs> the goblin said help. You're you looked, an evil person. You looked at it and in your hand you just made a fireball and without any emotion you went and I'm shot trying to solve a mystery here. That's not how you solve a mystery. Uh -huh. I could have all the information you want. <laughs> you <laughs> idiot. Madness. Madness. It's now... <laughs> brilliant. No, Mad not brilliant. God, Jesus. Uh, um, okay, so... It's now your turn, Josh. Okay, so one of them has died. Mm -hmm. How many of them have took the full blind force? Um, uh, two. Alright, so I'm going to do... There's a, yeah, there's three now, and they're all burnt. One, do... the, one, the one who got took... Uh, no, the other one who took full blind force, he's literally, like, almost bleeding out, and almost dead, the same as go um, the goblin. You can finish that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, so I'm going, to, I'm going to do Scorching Ray, which is mm -hmm. three rays of two D6s. So I'm going to... And I can target... Multiple yeah. things. So I'm going to target not one that's dying on the floor. Yeah. I'm going to target one of them that was hit with full force, and the other one I'm going to hit with two two rays. Yeah. So not the one that's dying on the floor. No. That's, but that one was hit with full force. Yeah. No, I'm just going to leave them. Yeah. Okay. You're just going to hit the other two who were able to dodge part of it. Yeah. One of them was hit. One of them was dodged it, and the other one didn't, didn't they? No. 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 I mean, no. The, no, one, the one, was... one that's on the floor dying that yeah. got hit, and then there are two that only took half. Yeah. And oh, then okay. there's the goblin lying on the floor yeah. as well. Right, well, and that's so, the exact position of them as well. <laughs> <coughs> right, so yeah, one of them's going to take two, one of them's going to take four d6. How? How four d6? Scory, scorching ray, but he's taking two rays, uh, and okay. the other one's taking two d6. Alright, roll an attack. Okay, so scorching ray is plus seven, so I'm just going to make sure I've used that. Six, well, it did hit my phone, but... No, I don't count that one. Uh, we'll count that. Is two? Um, is it two? Because it's a spell. It'd be two. It's two separate projectiles. So you roll two. Well, it's three actually. There's three ones of them. Yeah, that's why. Got yeah, it's three separate projectiles. All right. So All right. Yeah. So then that was the first one. Yeah. The Which first would actually be thirteen, by the way. Yeah. So 13. the first one goes, and the um, the bugbear is able to from the bird is able 10. to move out of the is able to like with his sword, fling the the projectile to the side. It's not a projectile. It's a ray of heat. It's a ray of heat. Then he moves out of the side. Yeah. yeah. Like so that's it. a thirteen, a ten, and, and a fourteen. Four. No, not fourteen. So is it ten plus, plus, not, is 18, it 10 plus 18, seven? 18. Ten plus seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he moves out of the way, and then what's the other one? What Basically, two of them have missed, and the other one is hit. Yeah. Cause the last one's seventeen. Eighteen. Yeah. Yeah. And was the other one a ten? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that hits as well. Because it's right. plus seven, isn't it? Yeah. Or is it ten in total? Well, no, no, so, so, so the third Oh, yeah, so the ten one misses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you, he, he moves out of the way, moves out of the way, and then it's almost like you placed him in the centre, you shoot the second one at him. One second, I just want to double in check. In the centre. So that's, a D, that's 2d6 damage, if I'm right. Because right. I've, seen, I've seen that spell before, it's 2d6. Yeah. For it, each one that hits. So roll 2d6 damage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Give me a second. And what are you checking? Because I might be able to tell you. No, I'm just checking my abilities to see if I can change anything in it. Where are um, you firing this bolt from? When you've walked into the room. I'm not even in the fucking room, am I? Kind of away still. 
oh, I'm going to have to move and do that again then. Um, um, so I'll walk You're not going to do the attack again, that's been No, decided. no, I'll walk in and into a position where I can yeah. do the attack. Yeah, you always move Matthew out of the way after seeing this fireball. Um, a, a fireball, especially with your character, and you heard this goblin, you're almost going in for the character help. Yeah. You see, you, pu you push him out of the way, and he goes, so you're, you move in like a couple of feet more. <coughs> but you, you come to the side, and then you cast your spell. The first two miss, and the last one hits. Okay, cool. So roll 2d6 to see the damage. 7. Alright. Seven damage. Rubbish. It hits. It hits him. In, it hits him in the face. Burning. This. Ah. Right. Then I'm going to use a bonus action. Yeah. To try and cure this poor thing. I'm going to cast sanctuary on the goblin. So, mm. um, you ward the creature within range attack until the spell ends. Any creature who targets the warded creature with an attack or a harmful spell must first make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the creature must choose a new target or lose the attack or spell. Interesting. Cool. The, cre the spell doesn't protect the warded creature from area effects such as an explosion from a fireball. <laughs> Just go for a fireball. <laughs> 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 Alright. Alright, cool. Um, no, 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 no. Yeah. All right. It's um, yeah. So that that was your go. You ward it, and you see it's kind of protected. Almost, almost <coughs> like aura go around um the goblin, who's literally like um he's been shot out of the scene. He's literally just shaking from the burns that he has. Cool. Um, it is now your turn, Aaron. You can now move into the room. It's clear. Oh, they they cleared the door because you pushed him out of the way. The enemy's not attacked then. Um. No, it's your go first. Oh, is it okay? If you're wondering in the next one. Yeah, so I'll... Um, you, can, you can move into... Oh, yeah, because there's one line on the floor, and there's what other yeah, ones... One line on the floor, there. two standing, one's got burning... Oh, they've been five feet of each other, the two that are standing. And they're all within five yeah, feet Yeah, if you can kill the other two, we can knock out the bear bug that's nearly dying. Yeah, so I'll run to the ones that are standing then. Yeah, go for it. And I'll attack the first one. Uh, five, 17, 23. Wow. That hits. Alright, go for it. You go for Slash with your Katrina. Is this the one that's got his burning face? Yeah, one of the ones that's Because he's doing his face. He's going, ah! And, and he does it. He then just sees um, what he saw before, but then he just sees this lizard foot running in him with his Katana. Eight it's damage. The yeah, eight damage. You then go and you chop. He raises a, a sword to go and attack. You chop that arm off. Oh! Dismembered. And it literally has no weapon. Yeah. And, and then and the, he's then got his arm. Then looks, ah! And he goes. Down to almost one knee. He's literally alive, yeah. just alive. Yeah, go for the other one. Yeah, he's literally well, just alive. I get two alive. attacks anyway, then I get another <coughs> attack against oh, really? next to me. Wow, that's crazy. So yeah. I'll attack that guy go again who's just met oh, With the advantage, he's prone. Uh, well, yeah, 16. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, 19. Yeah, roll on damage. And he dies. Yeah. From a good. I'm guessing he's so I'll, I'll like behead him again, yeah. You just like beheading. Give him a swift death. Yeah, yeah. So you then, you then um, do you even say anything or do you just do it? No, I just do it. So you, you literally just ran into the room. He just sees him, cut off his arm with a sword arm. <laughs> and then he <laughs> looks at it. Because it's literally in one wow. fell swoop, you go. <laughs> yeah, that's literally it. And almost, <laughs> almost in one line, it's almost just the head and the arm yeah. in line. Just cut off. <coughs> and they land on the floor. And then because of Horde Breaker, I'll also attack the one within yeah. five feet of that one. That one who's quite Twenty. <laughs> Alright, you go and slash it and go for it. Double damage, guys. Roll it, and then you double whatever nine. your damage is. No, that would be nine then. So is, no, is nine your normal damage? No, oh, you no. roll a two first, then a seven. Yeah, so it's yeah. nine, then plus five, then double it, basically. Yeah. Right? Yes, yeah, so nine, nine plus five is fourteen, so... No, you, you don't add the plus, plus plus five to the second one. So it's nine doubled, eighteen plus five. Twenty-three, 23. damage. Wow. <laughs> wow. Twenty-three damage. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. So no, it's doubled on the first attack, right? It's so the it whole. It's the whole attack of the first, just doubled. Because well, including the modifier. No, do not include the mod. It's just double the dice. So then it would be two doubled, which okay. is four, four, and then um, so four plus five, and then seven plus five. Mm. Why seven? Oh yeah, because what you're hitting twice. No, so so no, it'd just be it'd just be nine then. Nine, nine, yeah. Nine. Definitely. And then his yeah. second attack would be. Oh, and well, second attack. Oh, uh, okay. Not for that one. Right. Just you, nine let, you, yeah. you literally just behead him, and then you go up to the other guy, and you then chop, and it cuts against his torso, but he's still alive. Nice. All right. Um, it is uh, 
I'm the there, not this time. He's literally been cut along the side. And he's seen the devastation <coughs> cause. The one who's on the floor, he goes at them, and he's just right by your side because you passed him. Yeah. Almost. He then comes to go and try and get it, like a good um, uh, flanking attack on you. Nice. And he comes. He goes to whack you with his big, a uh, big ass club. He whacks you and hits you, well, because because you were completely focused on slash, and he gets you in the side, oh. yeah. and he deals to oh, you. Oh, you're so lucky! Wow. <laughs> nice. Like, worst rolls. <laughs> Good rolls for you though, and then you t- and you take four damage just getting whacked because he's quite four good. damage. Right. Yeah. That is nothing. Yeah, and you're lucky and you get whacked just on the back and you kind of oh, get knocked slightly, but that was just, he was literally like, basically that was like a last moment swing. Yeah. What are you going to do? You go, um, no, it's not your go yet. And th- then, there's, then the other there's bugbear, like who's before. just been slashed, he grabs his club <coughs> and goes, um, after just being knocked, then goes to go and whack you again with his thing. And he hits and he deals. And he deals you 11 damage. Okay. Whacks you in the chest. You got knocked forward, knocked back by these two bugbears. They're literally either side of you. Five feet. One front, one behind you. Um, it's um, the goblin. He literally just shriveled up. Yeah, just just yeah. taking my protection. Yeah. Alright, it's now your go. So the one that Aaron's just slashed up a bit. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go up to him and just go, let me cool off those burns and ray of frost. <laughs> so. Go for it. Plus seven, that's nineteen. That hits. So we do two D eight. Doing ooh, um, fourteen damage on it. So you go, let me cross those burns. And after he's just done that whack, he goes, ah, goes to I can attack, and you just go completely like and you just freeze and he freezes his whole body in place as his club goes down on your head and stops right before there, just like right here, and you just you just freeze him in every part, and it's just frozen. Cool. So is he dead then? Yes. Wow. So I don't know. All, that's all Do you think that would kill you? Oh, yes, there is one left, isn't there? Yeah. It's the one on the floor. Yeah, there's the oh. one who did the last ditch effort. Uh, that was your turn. It's now um, Josh, your turn. Right, can I just can I just uh, ray across the room and put the fires out? Um, go for it. So I'm just gonna Are you going to attack anything in it, or is it just a, a, a uh, branding? Okay, you can no, I might just go and knock him out. Punch him in the yeah. face. The fires, they are just like on things, but you can just... um. I'll just go around and ray frost. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, his ray frost would put that. I'm just going to knock yeah. him out. So right. I've got 60 foot range. Yeah, so it's very So right. roll an attack. Or the last one that's on the floor, knock yeah. him out. Uh, 20. <laughs> yeah, that hits. And it's um with a fist, it's just two damage up. Yeah, no, right. it's not. Not with me. It, you want it to be just two damage. Straight up. Well, actually, that was 22. And my well, no, he, my he, he, he can choose to yeah. make the attack one to just knock yeah. out and not to kill. Yeah, otherwise yeah. it would be five, so... Well, I'm telling you now, it knocks him out. Oh, yeah. It just, it doesn't, don't... Yeah, yeah I'm not going to kill him to, like, no, push you just, just, you, going, you just, just hooked he, him. He's literally done this whack, and then you just walk up behind him, and almost, you know, like, whiz, you almost just... Karate, just, just touch karate him, touched chop him to the top of my mall. Yeah. And you just go, boom, and he just falls down. Yeah. <coughs> then, then I'm just going to start standing and just sort of shooting rare frost around the room. Yeah, like, and I'm going to converse with the goblin. Right. Don't be afraid.